everybody. I uh, just wanted to give you kind of a before and after of one of my mandolin revoicings that I'm fixing to do. This is an area uh, M900 from the 70s and they actually are nice mandolins and you can really make monster mandolins out of these. Thickness the top and back, and replace the tone bars, put them in the right place, and whatnot. So, I just kind of wanted to give you a before of this thing. It sounds like a two before with strings to me. But, uh kind of chop it's just real real tinny and weak this sounds awful it sounds awful it sounds awful So I'll be actually taking the back, I'll remove the back, as I said, re-thickness the top and the back plates, uh, put new tone bars in, in the right locations, and uh, we'll see what this thing can do. I guarantee it will sound incredible. Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to update on the area Mamlin from the late 70s. Got the back off really clean, and uh, here they lie in their separate pieces. Uh, here's the reason these mandolins sound like, well, a two before with strings. Look at the height of those tone bars. And that whole strip down the center of the seam at the top. You only need a two or three very small cleats there. The back, if you look right here, there's no gradual, it's flat all the way, way out to here. Uh, and let's just see how heavy this back is. The center area is only about a millimeter thick-ish. But right here, from here all the way to the edge, let me get back where you can see it, from about this line all the way to the edge, nearly two millimeters thick and that goes all the way around. So you take a couple millimeters out of this hole. I mean, it's not exactly like I'm showing you, but close. Out of that whole area, it's a lot of wood. And the top, let's look at the top here, top. Right here we have about a four three. And the actual center of the top should be about four four five right there. That's not bad. This whole area from here around and under this tone bar is really heavy. This whole end is really heavy. Probably down to here. Same thing with this side. Now the other thing that I'm gonna Show you. I can. I have a couple of scraps of wood back right there. The uh, tone bars. Um, this tone bar. Well, this tone bar should be more into that range. Ish. Not exact, but should parallel this part of the F hole. It should be maybe not quite that far out, but almost. But you see the angle's all wrong. Anyway, just giving you an update. Check back with you when we get some tone bars in it. Just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, got the mail one uh, completely revoiced. Uh, re thickness the top and the back plate. New tone bars, put in the right locations and uh, carved down to uh, less than a two before height like the originals were. Um, 
got it set up here, uh, dressed the frets, um, redone the bridge top. Uh, it, it's just, it sounds wonderful now. It's a great sound in Madeline. Uh, from before, you could tell it just had nothing to it. But Nice body now. Um, um, great tremolo. Good chop. Just a great. Great sound of mandolin overall, and uh, anything you'd want in a mandolin, period. I'd play this thing every day. Very balanced. Um, but anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you the after, and uh, this will be for sale. So if you're looking for a great sound of mandolin that will not break the bank account, uh, this one is the one you need to get. Like I say, it's an Area M900 from the late 70s. It's actually in near mint condition. Um, see the back, top. Um, can't hardly tell it's ever been apart. Uh, and hardly a scratch on it anywhere. Great mandolin. Um, will make a wonderful instrument for someone. So thanks everybody. Hope uh, you enjoyed this. Uh, I, w I do want to say this. not try this <laughs> at home if you if you're not a luthier and you've not worked on instruments do not start sawing the back off a mandolin uh, it is not for the faint of heart and it's not for someone who hasn't done it uh, before or learned from someone doing it uh, there's millions of things that can go wrong um, and you do not want to just uh, get into that cold turkey uh, so I just wanted to put that little disclaimer out there. Do not uh, saw your mandolin back off if you've never done something like that. So get someone like myself or someone with experience to do this for you. But you can make uh, most any solid wood mandolin sound a lot better. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm here for all your repair revoicing needs on any instrument. Martin guitars, uh, mandolins, F style mandolins, fiddles, banjos, uh, upright basses, anything like that. Uh, next sets on Martin guitars, uh, scalloping, uh, setups, uh, whatever you need. Get a hold of me. Thanks all.